All right, here we go. Dr. Lou has returned to the Rick and Bubba show. It is time for him to break down the big games uh, for this weekend as only he can. He uh, wanders in. He looks like he's uh, he's prepared. He's ready. Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, that's Dr. Lou. Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, the doctor will see you now. Hello, Lou. Guys, it is good to see <laughs> sexy fat men with these eyeballs. <laughs> 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 guys, guys, I, I missed you last week, but it, uh, it appears you guys had a good Halloween. I, I saw Adler dressed up as Quasimodo, and but <laughs> guys, guys, I, I decided to go with something much more frightening last week at Halloween. What really? What'd you do? That's what? right, guys. I went as Auburn's <laughs> red zone offense. <laughs> <laughs> Auburn's red zone offense. Whoa, I'm scary, <laughs> spooky. I only kick field goals. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I only kick field goals. <laughs> guys, guys, we made it to November, and it's separation Saturday for the SEC, the ACC, and the Big 12. Guys, guys, we got Alabama hosting <laughs> LSU. We got Clemson welcoming Florida State and Oklahoma State awaiting TCU, which could create some big-time shakeups in the top four of the college football playoff. Which, well said. But, uh -huh. but, but, guys, <laughs> enough about great football on the small screen because it's taking over the big screen as well. I, I know you guys have been a big part of the movie Woodlawn. Yes. And, and what a fantastic football flick. I, guys, I, I got to say, I haven't been this inspired by a sports movie since Bobby Boucher led the Mud Dogs to a come-from-behind victory in the Bourbon Bowl, <laughs> once and for all, proving to his mama that football was not the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while since we've had an inspiration. Guys, it, guys, it was a good one. Woodlawn was really a Henry Winkler away from being the greatest football movie of all time. Yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Sy 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 serious business, guys. How's Syracuse doing? Sy Syracuse doing great. <laughs> serious business, guys. Rick, Rick, congratulations to your son for a standout job in, in, in the movie Woodlawn. Thank guys, you. guys! Every time I saw Tony Nathan's face on the screen, I felt like I was looking at a young tan Rick Burgess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kate, Kate, yeah, my kids, my kid plays. Caleb, Caleb really is right. a chip off the old Burgess block. No, no, yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah right, right. So you have that, it's that, that. He's not my son. It's, it's yeah, the other guy. Yeah, guys, the other guys, guys, the six. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the success of Woodlawn, uh, you know, with, with that success, the big question is, where will the Irwin brothers go next? Yeah. And, and and I had actually had a chance to sit down with John and Andy earlier this week, and it appears that there is a sequel in the works. Oh, really? The Irwins are hoping to build on their momentum with another mm -hmm. tale of facing adversity by tackling the story of USC great Steve Sarkeesian. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. That, that's right. This, this is a true story, guys. Uh, Drunk Lawn hits theaters in October 2016. <laughs> Drunk Lawn. <laughs> Drunk on the lawn. <laughs> that's right. Mark your calendars and stock your yetis. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, boy. Guys, now guys, I I know it's been a while since we visited, but but how about the roller coaster of quarterback Will Greer and the Florida Gators? Oh They're yeah, that's been just a, just yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah, as chop. you know, as you know, Greer failed a drug test after taking an illegal over-the-counter supplement. And guys, I gotta say, you have to be an absolute idiot to take a supplement that clearly says on the box, "Do not take this if you are going to be drug tested." Now guys. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I, I, Will Greer, he, he seemed like, like such a smart guy. But yeah. now I'm pretty skeptical because I, I was on the phone. You're what? You're what? I, I'm, I'm pretty. <laughs> ske I'm skeptical of, of how right. smart he is. Now. Yeah, right. I, I was on the phone with him the other day, and he wanted, he wanted me to make sure that I wish both Rick's dad and Greg's dad quick recoveries from their knee surgery. <laughs> 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 the odds of that. Yeah. Yeah. Starting Florida yeah. quarterback Will McPippet. Okay. <laughs> Guys, here's here's a story that was a little more under the radar. I don't know okay. if you I don't know if you guys saw this, but recently the NFL Network aired a post game interview with Pac Man Jones of the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't know if you oh, saw really? this, where where several naked teammates could be seen in the background. Oh yeah, yeah I saw yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I, saw, I didn't see yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you. That's all the story. Yeah. yeah. Well, one person has been very vocal about this TV mishap, and and that's AJ McCarron's wife, who the Cincinnati Bengals quarterback. Catherine, you know Catherine Webb, guys, right. who tweeted 
out her stance against nudity on television. And guys, no one is more excited about these headlines than Brent Musburger. <laughs> uh, that's right. He, he finally has an excuse to Google Catherine Webb nudity. Holly Rowe, who was really smoking tonight. Okay. Yeah, Rick. 416 search results. Oh, wow. I'm going to be on this computer for a while. <laughs> Speaking of nudity, nobody <laughs> wants to see Charlie Weiss naked. No, 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 no Charlie Weiss. Weiss would find his yeah. way into this. Yep. Guys, yep. guys, I don't know <laughs> if you saw this, but the University of Notre Dame will finally pay Charlie Weiss his last buyout check later this year. Wow. And make no mistake about it, this is a major financial financial hit for Charlie. In fact, he told me he's actually having a garage sale to make up some of the lost income. And guys, I actually stopped by and I, I was wondering. Does anybody around here wear 44 by 29 khaki pants? <laughs> Nobody I know. <laughs> but you actually have them there. There they are. Bubba <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just threw a flag. <laughs> That's so All they're all. All they're all. All they're all. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Guys, he's also double as a khaki snuggie or a 12 by 18 foot khaki rug. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That is great. Guys, uh, did, did you see the crazy <laughs> ending to last week's Duke Miami game? Oh, yeah. yeah. For, oh, the, yeah. for those who didn't see it, Miami scored on a string of laterals and a bizarre, bizarre ending as time expired. Uh, that thanks to several inexcusable errors made by the referees. They just made some horrible mistakes <laughs> to give uh, Miami the victory. Yeah. Well, ACC officials reviewed the video earlier this week, admitting major faults, but still upholding the Hurricanes' victory. It's a very strange situation. Mm -hmm. not, not sure if you saw this, but the Miami Hurricanes actually took to the university's official Twitter Twitter account after the ACC's ruling, childishly <coughs> responding with a smirking, shoulder-shrugging emoticon. Yeah, this is a true story. They, they what does it look? Does it look just like that? It just looks just, yeah. like, just wow. like this. Show it to it's me like, one more time. Just, just like this. <laughs> yeah, okay. It looks like Greg. Guys, but Duke, Duke's athletic director has made it clear to me that they plan on taking the high road in their official response to the situation. Oh, really? Okay, good. Guys, they're, all, they're, they're planning on only tweeting out a smiling pile of poo and Apple's new middle finger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Duke, Duke is dropping poopies. <laughs> Dukey. <laughs> guys, guys, before before we go, I, 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 this this is another under under the radar story, but very interesting. Do uh, you guys remember <laughs> the name Cordell Brodus? It, it was a yes. former four-star UCLA recruit and yeah. son of Snoop, Snoop Doggy Dogg. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, well. Well, Brodus actually never showed up for fall camp. Did you guys know yeah. this? He ne yeah. never showed up for fall camp. And he, and he says he says the only reason he ever played football was to get his father to love him. That's, oh, hey, this oh, is a true man. story. Oh, me too. It's true. Oh, but now, <laughs> me too. <laughs> that's right. But now he realizes that. He, he he realizes that, that Snoop that Snoop actually just loves him for him, not because he could play football. Really? Yeah. I went to catch up with Snoop, and he got very emotional as he opened up about his son's revelation. He gave a a heart a, a heartfelt, uh, eloquently uh, uh, stated statement regarding his son's comparison to football. And what he told right? me, he told me this, and I quote. It blizzles my mizzon that Cordizzo <laughs> would believe that my Lizzo for my sizzon would compare to my Lizzo for fizzle bizzle. <laughs> well put. <laughs> well said. <laughs> guys, be careful with that. Guys, it's it's yeah. pretty pretty obvious that his Lizzo for his sizzon is pretty pretty intense there. <laughs> yes, it is. And that's why you can take it to the brizzake, giz eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Lou, what an update! Oh, bizzle, bizzle. Even with a few, uh, few props today. Well yeah. done. Take it easy. We'll come back.